supposed to be in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I like to spend... Um, well, especially when it's warm out, I go in the woods every day, definitely. Uh, during the winter, less frequently. But still, get that time in. It's not like a forest, like, area of, like, only human settlement. It's like the relationships between all of the different plants and animals are still at least partially intact. And so there's something really spiritual about that that I enjoy. I mean, it can be wherever, you just need to have a relationship with plants and like through the world around you and the other animals and the insects. And like the whole like web needs to like participate together as opposed to like now it's very we try and like impose like monoculture and like you know we'll cut down a whole rainforest and plant like a million like canola plants to make like oil and then like that is just going to breed like unhealthy conditions and same goes when you just have like a city with like no plants and just all people like they're not going to be healthy emotionally and physically materials can be sustainably harvested and built by a family of regular people so you don't need to sell your life to a bank to get a mortgage to pay some person for uh, this terrible house that's going to fall apart in four years which also destroys the rainforest when you build it something i've been reading about recently is cob which is clay sand and uh, straw and water and you can just build a house out of that, and if you put a good roof on it, it'll last for a thousand years. 